All right, I had to move the camera and go right here because my phone was dying. I had to set it up. So last one I got in physical copy, uh, anyways, right now is World at War II Pro Edition. Uh, so you check it out. You can see Pro Edition in the back. Um, to clarify what it came with, it came with a season pass, um, collectible steel book, zombies weapon cambo, uh, the Caratina map, um, Call of Duty endowment, and music soundtrack. Um, this one was awesome. It was a good game. Uh, it wasn't quite World at War. I would love to see World at War remastered as World War II, or at least come with it remastered. Um, or just completely redone but uh, the storyline on this game was amazing I, they had quite a few actors in it this storyline was great I'm talking like movie quality much like the new Modern Warfare was just amazing amazing storyline um, there's the disc right there nothing really special other than that um, and the gameplay was great on, on multiplayer uh, Here's the inside of the the uh, case, but the gameplay was awesome. I loved it. It was very, you know, it, it brought Call of Duty back to boost on the ground, kind of for new uh, games that they were putting out, and a lot of people were happy about that. A lot of people played it. A lot of people had fun. They got a lot of good reviews. Um, it just, I felt like there was something missing, and I still can't explain what that something was missing, but um it was good good maps good stuff uh there wasn't a lot of cartoony stuff in it so if that's what you're looking for um there was a little you know it kind of blended in but it, it was nowhere near like uh the black ops games um so basically in the case you had the, the map and the season pass you had the digital content in here and then of course just the licenses agreements and that was it, basically. Um, it was a really fun game. I had prestige in there. A lot of cool achievements, too, I would say. And of all of them, uh, this one really gave you cool achievements for online and playing single player, playing multi zombies. I, I can't say enough for zombies. Zombies in this was awesome. Uh, really done well. Really creepy graphics. And that's just it, too. And I will tell you this, guys. And I know I've said this in other videos. If you got an S and you're playing that on the S, I remember when I had the S and I got it before the X came out, they said it was being enhanced. I was like, this game is disappointing as far as graphics go and frame rate and everything. It just does not look that good and play that good. I was really disappointed. I felt like Ghost all over again. Holy cow. You get an X, the, the difference is way noticeable. You, I would call you Ray Charles if you try to even hate and try to say that you can't see a difference it is amazing so that was a really cool game to check that out and see the difference it really made the whole game come to life a whole different way so i suggest if you're looking for a world war ii one uh that's the one to go for so out of all the call of duties out right now and all the ones i played and i've been playing since number one on playstation here's my picks out of the modern warfare series I would say Modern Warfare 2019, hands down. And I would say that is the best COD out there that I, in my opinion, out of all of them. Runner-up to that one would be Modern Warfare Remastered. That is done really well. Um, I liked it a lot. Then I would say out of the whole Black Ops, I would say Black Ops 1. Honestly, Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2 was really close, but for me... Black Ops 1 is more the realistic, more um, boots on the ground style, and the maps were just iconic, and the music was just iconic, and the, the gun sounds, and it was just, it played very well. Um, if you're looking for a world, uh, world war, or world, world war one or two, let's just say that, um, Call of Duties, I would have to say, because of the new age and the graphics and everything, World War II would be um, would be the one to do. Um, and, and to go back actually to Black Ops really quick, the runner-up for Black Ops would be Black Ops 2. So 
Uh, I think that was pretty apparent, but I didn't say that. So World War II would be the World War uh, games to go out of their World War ones that they had, um, or World War II, because uh, I know they did, you know, Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2 and Call of Duty 3 were all based in World War II, I believe all in World War II. Um, I would say Call of Duty World War II was the best one to go for for that hands down and right up very very close runner up it's all hacked out now but i mean if they could do a fresh reboot of it it would put world war ii it run into a space as even just being a remastered i think world at war was really good uh follow that one up with if if you you know are looking for more of a one that's just uh the red-headed stepchild but a good red-headed stepchild is ghost ghost is completely kind of different and and is is different in its own way very good uh very enjoyable i kind of hope they make a sequel to that um if you're looking for the og ones out of call of duty one two and three and four um i would say four call of duty four you know modern modern warfare the very original um and runner up to that one as far as when they stopped doing the numbers uh, runner up to that one would be Call of Duty 3. Uh, that was probably the best out of the older ones. They were, although that's if you go back and play those and you play them on the X, they're a little bit better. Um, but you gotta remember that's when Call of Duty was in its infancy. It wasn't really into Call of Duty 4 that they really made something that really stuck and opened the door. Um, now, so. If you want to go to the Titanfall crazy jumping, just nut job shit <laughs> that I was like, holy cow, that just to me didn't, you know, didn't belong in there again. But I thought it was, and don't get me wrong, I thought that that stuff was awesome in Titanfall. I thought it was great in other games that it belonged in, but it to me it just didn't fit Call of Duty. Um, but anyways, if you're a fan, so let's say between. I already covered the Black Ops, but we'll, we'll put Black Ops 3 and 3 in there, at least. Because 4 kind of went more towards, you know, a little bit closer towards the boost on the ground style. So, I would say out of Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, and Black Ops 3 of that really heavy style when everybody was pushing that out like crazy, I'd say Infinite Warfare. It's probably your best bet. You know, if you got an X, you're going to get the better graphics. Uh, it, it's smoother. It's done better. And uh, was run... I would say it runs... I don't know, just cr crisper. And the storyline was, was really good. Um, nothing's advanced storyline was really good. So runner-up, I would probably say... I'd probably say advanced. A lot of people are going to hate me for that, too. I think advanced was better than Black Ops... Uh, three but when they did a zombie chronicles in black ops three if you're a zombies guy and you like the zombies and all the old i i would have to say maybe yeah better than advance because of zombie chronicles um so yeah that would be and of course out of the three new freshest ones would be world at war or world or sorry world war two um black ops four and modern warfare uh to me out of the new ones that are still getting updated and still taken care of uh modern warfare would be my pick but yeah that's my review on uh world war ii and a little bit of extra just talking so you know if you don't agree if you have anything to say or anything like that or you know just have a conversation about it uh you know hit me up in the comments find me on instagram um, you know, tell me. I mean, I, I also game too. I do car stuff primarily. Um, got a family, got stuff, but you know, there's other things in life. But I try to game when I can. You know, so as you can see, how tired I am <laughs> because if I game, I'm usually up late doing it. But yeah, hope that helps uh, anybody. Um, like I said, it's just a short review. It's not me playing. It's not really going in depth to, to straight down to the frames a second or you know what character died when here. That stuff you can all check out yourself. More so just the unboxing and kind of uh, my view on it. And with the new Modern Warfare, I'll probably be doing a lot more of 
actually videos and you know going in depth in it so